There's a lot to cover in the new OpenBazaar roadmap. We'll be putting OpenBazaar on the web, releasing a mobile app, introducing a bunch of new features into the client, releasing a token, and creating a new foundation. Hey everyone, I'm Sam Patterson from OpenBazaar. It's been a while since we've touched on the OpenBazaar roadmap, but recently we put out a big update to let everyone know where we plan to go over the next year or so. Of course, OpenBazaar is a community of people around the world, open source technology. So if you have thoughts on this roadmap, please feel free to leave a comment, join our Slack, join our subreddit, let us know what you think about it. The biggest new area on the roadmap and the highest priority that we have is getting OpenBazaar onto new platforms, particularly web and mobile. OpenBazaar has always been a desktop only experience, mostly because of the limits of the technology. It's not easy to build a fully distributed application in a web browser or on a mobile device. However, we think now that we're able to do it. We've been looking into how to build an OpenBazaar app for some time now. But until recently, all of our attempts were only just a front end into an OpenBazaar node that was hosted elsewhere, which is not the ideal experience. But recently, we figured out how to have a full OpenBazaar node on a mobile application, and that's what we're building now. The app will be released later this year. Running OpenBazaar in a web browser is even more difficult. The network is built on top of IPFS. So running OpenBazaar means that you're running your own custom version of IPFS. There is an effort underway to run IPFS in the browser using JavaScript. It's called IPFSJS. Eventually, we hope to be able to run a full OpenBazaar node using this in the web browser, though that's probably a bit further into the future. Before we get to that point, we're going to be releasing an OpenBazaar version on the web that lets you just browse. You can search, you can look at listings on the network, but you won't be able to purchase them or run a store. The next step is a buy-only version of OpenBazaar on the web. This will allow buyers to purchase things on OpenBazaar without needing to download the software. They can do it right through their web browser. The buy-only version is going to be a lot more difficult than the browse version, and we expect it'll take us into 2019 before it's finished. The last step is to have a full OpenBazaar node in the browser, and we're not sure yet how long that's going to take us. Next up on the roadmap is our token. We're still working out the details of our token, so if you'd like to sign up for updates to learn more, please visit openbazaar.org token. There are way more features that we'd like to put into OpenBazaar than we have the time or manpower to do so, but here are a few that we know we're going to be including over the next year or so. The first is cryptocurrency listings. There have always been three listing types in OpenBazaar, physical goods, digital goods, and services. We're now introducing a fourth, which is cryptocurrency listings. This allows people to buy and sell cryptocurrencies directly with each other, no fees, and much more privately than the big exchanges. The next feature is automated digital downloads. Right now, a vendor has to manually send the link to the buyer in the OpenBazaar client. However, with this new feature, as soon as payment comes in and is confirmed, the link to the digital product will be automatically sent to the buyer. Basically, the idea is send money, get file. Another important new feature is improved content discovery. Including search providers directly within the OpenBazaar client, as we do in the new 2.0, has been a great way to discover new content. However, users still don't have a great experience for browsing listings, and there's no ability to curate listings themselves. We'll be adding a feature that allows users to browse listings that have been curated by other users on the network. These listings can be curated based on any criteria that, that the user wants. It can be based on location, quality of the goods, a certain style, price, anything. Giving users tools, the ability to curate listings on the network, and then allowing others to see those curated listings is going to allow for much better and more decentralized product discovery. The last new feature I want to mention is better reputation and identity. Right now, a store's name is just a random string of letters and characters. It's not at all user-friendly. We want to take that random string of characters and map it into a much more 
user-friendly, human-readable system. There are a few different ways to do that. One is being able to resolve DNS itself, which is something we're working towards. Another is to integrate something like Blockstack. We're not exactly sure how we're going to do it yet, we just know that it needs to be done. So those are the new features that we want to get into the client. Those features are important, but we are going to be prioritizing getting OpenBazaar on the web and on mobile devices over those new features. The last portion of the roadmap is the creation of an OpenBazaar foundation. OpenBazaar is open source, and it always will be. The development of the protocol has been guided primarily by one company, OB1, who has decided not to directly monetize the protocol, but instead offer services on top of the protocol. We want to make sure that there's always going to be someone who is dedicated solely to making sure that the protocol and the network itself are being maintained. To do that, we're going to be creating an OpenBazaar Foundation. This new nonprofit would lead a transition away from OB1 being the primary maintainers of the protocol and towards a community model of management. The specific mission of the organization is being decided now, but the overall goal is to make sure that there always remains a space online for people who want to engage in free, private, permissionless trade. The foundation will be better able to support developers building on the network as well. We'll be able to focus on improving documentation, offering bug bounties, and offering support for more than just the core client and server repositories. So that's an overview of the OpenBazaar 2018 roadmap. If you want to read the full roadmap, there is a link posted below. Please let us know what you think.